This is the uh, multiplication board game. I bought this for my great grandkids. For one's six now, and others eight. But anyone can play it. It's a nice, easy game to play. Uh, you can see what we've got here. We've got a, a board, a couple of packs of cards, some tokens to move around, and a set of unusual dice. These are 10 by 10, 10 sided dice. So this is the uh, game. It, it is easy to use, but I'm going to show you in a minute how to use it uh, to play the game. So here we go. There are uh, different ways of playing this, but the first way is to use the cards. These cards here have got multiplication numbers on them, 7x7, seven 5x2, seven, uh, etc. So first of all you can pick a card, 2x8, uh, and you say well 2x8 is 2 by 8, so you put 2 there, 8 there, going down is on there, and the answer is uh, 16, 2 by 8 is 16. Another one, 7 by 8, so go to 7, down here, along to 8 here, put a token on, like that, and the answer is 56, and so on. It's quite simple to use. Another method is to use these 10 sided dice. You can say uh, 6 times 3, for example. 6 times 3 is 18. Very, very simple to use. The only thing about this, it gets boring after a while. Uh, children have a, a, a very short attention spell. In fact, I used to be a lecturer. I know that adults have a very short attention spell as well. So I thought uh, perhaps I could make it more interesting. And then I decided to make a game of bingo out of it. Now in uh, bingo, we have uh, cards. Uh, well, first of all, I, I use the old typical bingo cards like this. Uh, again, you just give them the two numbers from here, uh, 8 times 10 for example, 8 times 10 is, uh, well it's gone down here somewhere, 80, and you look on here for the number, if you got it, you cross it off, and when you get a line, you have a prize, I like to give prizes to my grandkids when they do anything, so uh, for a line I give them a pound, which is an incentive. I've always believed that people strive harder when there's a prize at the end. It may not be money. I mean, if a, for a nurse, for example, it's the job she likes to do, and that's part of a prize, if you like. But I, the kids like money, so I give them a pound if they get a line. Now, the only thing wrong with this particular card is that there are numbers on here which don't appear on here. For example, 61. You can't get 61 out of this 10 by 10. There's no such way. Uh, I think any more. Uh, 51. It's very hard to get 51. So I got away with this. I threw this away, or put it away, and I made my own card like this. Well, uh, I know that all these numbers can be obtained from here. So we did the same thing. We uh, take up a, a 7 by 10, which is 70, which is there. Uh, just uh, cross it off and keep going until you get a line. Now that was quite good. It, it worked fine, but when I did it with my older granddaughter, we, just, we tried it out first of all, I always do, and we found it did work, but it took an awful long time to get a line. If any of you play bingo at all, you know what it's, how frustrating it is when you've got, say, one number to get, just one number, and you never get it. Ever either side, you wait for ages, you don't get that one number. So I thought this was called, probably cause the children to be bored again. So I made a different sort of card. I made this one. 
Now, now this is a, a three by three. Uh, uh, it's the same idea, given the two numbers, find the answer, cross it off. But now I gave them the pound for a line that way or a line that way, a diagonal line. So there's much more chance of winning and it's also much faster. So this was the uh, multiplication game using my cards. Just as a sideline, uh, I've played games like this before with them, but I've used this card, which is a 12 by 12. Uh, 12 by 12 is probably the one which is used in schools now, so that's why I use the 12 by 12. But this is a 10 by 10 board. So there's the, used the 10 by 10 board for multiplication, which is good. But you may not know, but you can also use this card for division. For example, uh, 63 divided by 7. Now, how do you do that? Well, but let's look at the numbers. I'm not going to use terms like numerator and denominator. I'm going to call it top and bottom. So the top and bottom is, how do you use it? First of all, you look at the bottom, 7. And you go down the line until you come to 63, which is there. And then go across the line, and the answer is 9. So 63 divided by 7 is 9. Another one, a fairly easy one, 10 divided by 2. Okay, you go to 2. So you go to uh, 2 until you find 10, which is 5. And another one, 63 divided by 9, 63 divided by 9. So you go to 9, go down to 63, and you get 7. 63 divided by 9 is 7. You, you might wonder why I didn't put the, the 63 and go to 9. <coughs> the, the reason is on this board there are some numbers occur twice. If you look at 6 for example, 6 you've got 36. But you've also got another 6 somewhere, which is here, which is 3 divided by 2. So, uh, sorry, three, 3 and a 2. So you can't really start that way. Well, you could do, but it's tedious. So it's better to start with the, the lower number, the bottom number, and then go down or across until you find the actual answer. One more to show you the actual theory of this. I pick it up. It's that one, 15 divided by 5. So you go to 5, go down to get to 15, go across, and the answer is 3. 15 over f divided by 5 is 3. So that's a, a multiplication. Again, I, uh, I used cards to get the answer, and uh, I keep the same colour, because I've got different colours for different players, and I used this card. So again, we use the same thing. At this time, you can't use the cards in the pack. You have to make your own set of cards. Like I've made a set of three different sets of colours. Uh, green, yellow and pink. So again, 63 divided by 7. Go to 7. Till you come down to 63 down here. Go across to 9. And if you see a 9 on your card, you cross it off. 10 divided by 2 is 5, of course. 2. Ten is 5. So you cross the 5 off. And so on. Now, it, again, it's like before. If you get a line that way, or that way, or this way, or that way, it's a... Uh, I call it a line, and my character will get a pound. Uh, it, it's still not massively quick, but it's much quicker than the straightforward line. So this is how to use this board for an order game, or for multiplication, or for division, using uh, bingo cards. I hope you uh, find this useful, and it is uh, quite a good board to buy, even if you don't do the multiplication and division bit. You can use it with your kids to show them. But they, they don't really know the multiplying or dividing. As far as they're concerned, they're just moving bits around like this. 
But in actual fact, they are learning how to multiply and eventually how to divide. So, bye for now.